Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today, the message comes through a song. Um, the song is called R.A.N. and it's by Miguel. I'm going to go over the lyrics. Um, I can't lie. My, my, my voice is kind of like my throat is kind of sore and I've been like I'm trying to manage. I'm trying to get through these videos today. Sorry that they are late. Um, but I hope you, uh, were able to catch the live stream. Thank you to everybody that did. If you didn't, you could always go back and rewatch. Okay. Now let's get into it. Um, this, are, these are the lyrics, um, razor blade, a hard string. Who you trying to fix now? Broken record left on repeat. Another build up to the let down. Steady speeding to a new pain, tragic collision on the 110. And I wish that you would slow down because maybe then you see it coming. I'm saying, okay, the scripture comes from Mark 1 and 32. After the sunset, as evening drew on, they brought him all who were ill and those possessed by demons. Before long, the whole town was gathered outside the door, those whom he cured who were variously afflicted were many and so were the demons he expelled but he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him rising early the next morning he went off to a lonely place in the desert there he was absorbed in prayer simon and his companions managed to track him down and when they found him they told him everybody is looking for you he said to them let us move on to the neighboring villages so that i may proclaim the good news there also that is what i have come to do <clears throat> so he went into their synagogues preaching the good news and expelling demons throughout the whole galilee Whew. okay y'all so i feel like god is saying that you know i feel like this is a message for somebody that goes around to people and um heals them like god is using this is somebody god is using you to go around to other people and heal them and um it doesn't mean that you literally touch someone and all of a sudden they're not sick anymore and they're all of a sudden healed but sometimes just by your presence or just by you speaking to people and talking to people about what they have going on it can help them to be healed sometimes you are actually healing people sometimes you are actually the kind of person you're always at the right place at the right time um god places you in specific areas so that you can speak to someone so that you can heal someone um and for some of you so that you can cast demons away from people um however i feel like god is saying that um like I i'm getting at the point where it says but i wish that you would slow down i just feel like god is saying that you have to be careful not to be careful in a sense of not to have the heart to do what you do and it's not to say that um god wants you to stop because that is not what he's saying he's just saying that you need to be careful because sometimes um sometimes these demons can be very dangerous and some situations can be dangerous um sometimes i'm being reminded of this dream i had um i think i had it earlier this year and in the dream i was driving in a truck and at the stoplight i saw someone get in a car accident and then someone else come and steal the person like the person that was in a car accident um they had a motorcycle and right after the car hit her um a truck pulled up and they grabbed her motorcycle threw it in the truck and then they took off and i got out of my truck trying to help her and when i got out of my truck to help her she was walking away to somebody else and i followed her trying steady trying to help her left my truck at the light and when i turned around um, you know, when I finally got to her to help her, she shooed me away. She didn't want my help. When I turned around to go back to my vehicle, it was gone. And I ended up having to walk to the store. I get to the store and um, someone ended up bringing me another car to drive. But I'm saying this um, to say that 
in that situation, it's like I was basically chasing after this woman trying to help her when apparently there was nothing that I really could even do at that moment. Because um, I think, like I said, even when I uh, recorded the video about that message, that is kind of like, uh, what could I do except like call the ambulance for her if she was hurt, but she wasn't hurt. She got up and she walked away. Um, she apparently, it's nothing that I could do. I couldn't chase down the people that took her motorcycle. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get it back. It was just kind of like the only thing I could really do was be there for emotional support or to call, but you know, she had a phone to call, so she really didn't need me. And I had something that God had me doing. Okay. You know, in that, um, when I recorded that in that message, God wanted me to go to the store to get what I needed for something. And instead of me going to the store to get what I needed, I was focused on something that I shouldn't have been focused on because there was no need for me to be there. And I just feel like God is not saying stop doing what you do. God is not saying stop helping people. God is not saying that um, it is bad for you to help people. But I feel like God is saying for somebody, you are allowing um, your heart to help other people. Some of these people don't even need help. Some of these people are good. They like they good and they really don't need your help. They don't want your help. And you're trying to force your way on helping them. And there is something that God wants you to do right now. God wants your focus on that thing. And instead of you being focused on what God wants you to focus on, you are worried about people that don't need your help, that are not looking for any help, and that would actually turn their backs on you and not help you if you were in the same position. And that's not saying that we should go tit for tat. That's saying that God does not want you to be a fool either. Because, um, you know, just at the end of that dream, I, I was like, it kind of feel like after that dream, like she set me up because... Uh, she wasn't hurt. Whoever hit her didn't hit her hard enough to actually hurt her. And she was on a motorcycle. Um, she did not want my help. She did not even want to talk to me. Um, she act and then there was somebody that she knew standing near the light that she went to and started talking to. I followed her on my own. And once I turned around, my truck was gone as if there was somebody standing there waiting on me to get out of my truck and go help her. And I just feel like God is saying, you know, you have to be careful because sometimes you be thinking that you're doing something and it's something that God did not ask you to do and you're actually falling into somebody's traps. People can lay traps. There are people that can um, cry wolf. Like, and I feel like that's what God is saying. Somebody, you're helping somebody. And in reality, this person is crying wolf. This person is trying to get you up out your car. They trying to get you to crash. Or they trying to get you, they, they're trying to get you off focus. This is somebody that has come for the whole purpose of being a distraction. Um, and it even says, maybe then you'll see it coming. Like, you know, in the lyrics, it's like, maybe then you will see it coming if you will slow down and pay attention to what's going on. And I even said, you know, what I should have done in that dream, I should have stayed in my truck. You know, I could have pulled up on the long side of her and said, you good? And she would have said, yeah, I'm good. And I would have pulled right into the parking lot to the store that I was headed to. But instead of doing that, I was being overly, like overly trying to force my way to help somebody that didn't need no help. And, you know, um, you have to be careful. You don't need to, it's no need to end up being in a position to where people are using you. You know, God does not want us to be used. God does not want like, and you know, it's not to say that God doesn't want us to give. God doesn't want us to help others. That is not the message. Please do not take it the wrong way. God is saying some people don't need help and they are using you and they are pulling you off of the track to where you're supposed to be going. They are using your heart and your pure intentions as a way to get to you, to destroy whatever it is that you are focused on, whatever it is you're building, whatever it is you're doing, whatever your vehicle is, like that is a... It's like that is what they're they're trying to get you distracted from that so they can steal it away. Um, regardless if they can, I don't know if they could actually take whatever this is. But I feel like it's a situation where somebody is trying to do a switcheroo on somebody. Somebody crying wolf. Somebody is pretending. Somebody is like, somebody is acting. You know what I'm saying? And you know, 
It's nothing wrong with helping others. It's nothing wrong with doing for others. But God is saying that there is no reason that you should be put in a position to where you are being um, stirred off track, where you are being pulled away from your destiny, where you are no longer able to do what you need to do. Um, that's just like, you know, even in a situation where, let's say, you want to um, do community service. You would be doing community service in a time period where you can, you know, like you, the time that you're off of work, the time when you don't have any plans, the time when you don't have any going on, anything going on. That's when you go and do community service. You don't schedule to do community service when you have to work. And I just feel like, um, that's just like when you give into people, like if you see people, um, that need money or people that, um, you know, somebody asks you, yo, can I borrow this? Or I need that or whatever. You're not going to give them your light bill money, but you will give them some extra money that you have going on. And it's not because you didn't want to give to them. It's because you need that. You know what I'm saying? In reality, you don't have it to give because you ought to like people and you know, you have to think about it like that. And somebody got me like that. Um, years ago, I had a friend that was like saying she wanted to go and buy something for one of her friends. And she really needs to borrow such and such dollars. I had the money, but it was saved for it was for the light bill. I go ahead and give her the money. I say, you're going to get it back to me by such and such. She said, yeah, guess what? That day came and she ain't come with nothing. And I had to go and scramble together money so that I could pay my bill. And, you know, I just feel like God is not saying that, nah, don't give to nobody. Nah, don't help anybody out. Nah, don't. But God is saying, don't um, put yourself in a bad position trying to help somebody else. Just like when an airplane is going down, you got to put on your face mask first before you help somebody else. And um, that's the message. 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 Okay. God's saying that you are very good at what you're doing. He loves what you're doing. He's proud of what you're doing. You have a big heart. You are very loving, but don't allow nobody to use you. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, if thank you for everybody that has donated, thank you to everybody that has gotten me gifts for my wedding registry. I really appreciate it. If you want to, you can um use the description box to find out how to do all of that. I love you guys and I will see you later. Deuces.